Hey guys, Kelly with Evil Cosplay here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And I've got another tutorial for you guys today. Today I'm going to show you another applique technique. Uh, today we're going to be working with stretch materials. So I'm going to be doing applique on spandex. And I'm going to show you guys how I did that for this most recent commission I did. So I hope this will help you out in any future projects you might have. So let's get into it. So I'm going to show you how to be able to create applique similar to this that you see here. This is a pair of leggings that I made for a commission. The piece we're going to be doing today are the back of the leggings. Um, they are much simpler than the front designs, but it still will show you exactly how to do the techniques applied on the fronts. So you're going to need the piece of fabric that you plan on appliquing, which is the base green there. You're going to need some sulky, totally stable iron-on stabilizer. Your iron. and a pencil, plus the pieces of applique. So I've already gone ahead on the first half here and laid out the pieces. On the second half, I've marked with pins where I plan on having the applique pieces be. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay those down now. Now we're gonna take that over to the ironing board and we're gonna take some of the totally stable stabilizer this is the iron on one from Sulky. You can get it at your local Joann's. I'm gonna measure out the piece and we're gonna cut it off with non-fabric cutting scissors. Cause it's paper. Don't cut them with your fabric scissors. Just don't do it. I'm gonna go ahead and carefully lay that down on my applique that I've placed on the spandex. And now we're gonna need our iron. You're gonna make sure it's on the highest heat setting with no steam. We're going to go ahead and use the iron to press down the stabilizer on top of the pieces of applique and the spandex fabric. This will create a temporary hold with the stabilizer. And you're going to be able to peel this away after sewing. Once I've done that, I'm going to take my pencil and I'm actually going to mark lines for stitching on the paper. I do this because under the light of the sewing machine, it can sometimes become hard to discern between the base fabric and the applique. By doing this, I know exactly where I'm stitching and I know I'll get it right the first time. You're gonna take it over to the sewing machine and you're gonna use a stretch stitch. So I'm using this lightning bolt stitch here, stitch here, or you can also use a zigzag stitch. Then we're just gonna go ahead and sew that on the sewing machine. Super easy. And we're all sewn on. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go back over to the ironing board and I'm going to remove the stabilizer. So I'm taking, again, the non-fabric cutting scissors and I'm making little cuts right at the end of the seams there to make it easier to pull off the stabilizer. And I'm gonna start at the top and work my way down, pulling the stabilizer downwards towards the seam. It makes it so much easier to tear off this way. Um, and then you're gonna pull away the next piece from that seam where you just tore apart and so on and so forth, all the way down till we remo removed all the stabilizer. It is possible that little bits of paper may still get stuck in the seam from the stabilizer and you can get those out with some tweezers. So make sure you have those handy too. And there we have it, all done. And it's still nice and stretchy. Perfect. All right guys, and that's that tutorial for you. I hope this helps you out for any future applique you may have to do on stretch fabrics. If you guys have any questions at all, please leave that in the comments down below and I'll be sure to answer them for you. Make sure to like and subscribe for additional tutorial content and check out my social medias. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.